Hey everyone! <laughs> oh, I hope you guys can join me today. It's Nicole Steele. It's time for my weekly Facebook Live. Every week I go live at 11 o'clock in the morning Eastern Time and I'm the owner and designer and creator behind the Joyful Stamper. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator so welcome if you're joining live. Welcome if you're watching the replay. Okay, let me pull the comments up. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting to be a stamper right now, let me tell you. Entering the Christmas season, the Thanksgiving season, so we have that mix of fall and Christmas, and it's just so fun to stamp for those two um, events, seasons, holidays, whatever. Okay, I've got my comments pulled up. Let me get my laptop out of the way here. It's in a very precarious position around here. So how is everybody's week? <laughs> uh, well, right now, the big Stampin' Up! convention is going on. It's called On Stage. And I didn't sign up for it because I thought I was going to be, hi Sharon, I thought I was going to be in Hershey, Pennsylvania for the state cross country meet. And you know what? I would have been. I totally would have been because both of my daughters, um, my both my younger two daughters run on their high school cross country team. Both the boys and the girls made it in a normal year, but we all know this isn't isn't a normal year. And so the PIAA shrunk the field by like seventy five percent of who was going to qualify. And so neither one of the teams are going. There's one boy going, but in a normal year, both the boys and the girls teams would be going. And oh my goodness, it was it was thrilling. So. Yeah, so I would be at Hershey, but I'm not, and that's why I didn't sign up for the on-stage convention. And now I'm bummed because three days with my demonstrator friends, and I'm missing it. So, <laughs> but I get to stamp with you guys, so that's good. Um, I just released two creativity kits, so once I flip the camera down, I'll show you the graphics for that. And actually, today's live, we are going to make two of the bonus ideas from those creativity kits. So what I do is in the written tutorials, I always add a couple extra ideas to extend the life of your kit and the supplies that you have. And I thought, why not make two of them today because I'm so excited about them. They're so pretty, I love them. I had so much fun designing these kits, so I can't wait to show it to you. So, I don't know, do you guys like my hair? <laughs> I went to my sister-in-law's salon in Ohio and I had her color it darker and I had her chop off a few inches and I'm not sure how I feel about it. So, but good thing hair grows out, right? Yeah. <laughs> so even the bad hair mistakes are very temporary, right? <laughs> okay, well, let me flip the camera down so that I can um, get started with this show, right? So make sure to jump in and comment and say where you're from, say hello. I like the conversation and the interaction. So if you get dizzy, close your eyes because I'm going to move my camera up to my holder now. I have it propped on an ink pad right now. All right, here we go. Okay, it looks like we are good to go and in position. I think I'm in camera and view. I think that's good. Looks to be okay on my end here. Okay, so my creativity kits. I actually have two of them this month because I just I couldn't stop creating. And these are all for Christmas. So, oh, hi Mary. And so the first kit is uh, Snowflake Splendor. So we're going to be using the Snowflake Wishes and so many Snowflakes dies to create these um, projects. They're all stepped up. You'll get four class packets, you get a written PDF, you get the videos for this, and it's it's meant to be just like taking a class with me, so there's no rush to it, there's no hurry. You go at your own pace, and I include at least $20 of brand new Stampin' Up! product in these kits, which you will use to make the projects. So, And you'll have lots left over so you can make the bonus ideas too. The other creativity kit I have is Perfectly Plaid. If you order both of these kits, you can take $5 off the price of them. They're each $35. You get I pack a lot of value into them because I really want you guys to enjoy these and have fun with them. So, oh, thanks Sharon. <laughs> Thank you. It's always kind of scary doing something new to your hair, isn't it? Even though you know it's not forever. 
So if you're interested in signing up for these, November 10th is the deadline. I keep a tight turnaround for my creativity kits because I don't want things to go on back order and I want to get these kits in your hands as soon as possible. So November 10th, just email me, Nicole at thejoyfulstamper.com. Let me know which kit you want or if you want both. And if you don't have these stamp sets or punches or bundles, let me know in the email if you want them because you can add them on at catalog price. I will pay the shipping and tax for these. So this one is Snowflake Wishes with the So Many Snowflakes dies, and this one uses Perfectly Plaid with the Pine Tree Punch. Okay, and be sure to watch because I'm gonna have a special code that's gonna pop up in this live, and if you use that code when you register for these kits, um, I will throw in the packets to make the bonus projects today for whichever kit that you order. So be sure to watch for that little code. I just thought I, just a sweet little special, something fun to do, right? And then curvy celebrations. I really, really like what Stampin' Up! has done with this. It's um, the quite curvy bundle and the images, they're, they're on a curve. So that's what the dies are and you've got these three sweet little birds I love it love it love it love it I like how you can color these images in but we have this bundle going on so of course it's 10% off these will be available in the January through June mini catalog and if you're already a customer of mine you are automatically on my list to get the January through June catalog if you want that catalog just place an order in my store and you'll get automatically put on that the other thing is they have the Curvy Christmas stamp set and the Classic Christmas 6x6 inch designer series paper. These two things are only available until January 4th. So this is in the mini catalog that's coming up, and but you can get it now. You can get it now or in the catalog. This is only available now through January 4th. And if you want it all, we have one easy number down here for you. And you will get everything I just talked about. So quite a good deal quite a cute stamp set good classic papers okay now for sharing the um, my Facebook live so I wasn't here last week because I had to be a chauffeur so from this is from two weeks ago I said I was gonna give away the dainty diamonds embossing folder and out of the people that shared and type shared in the comments Sharon you were the winner <laughs> so um, you get the Dainty Diamonds Embossing Folder. I will send that out to you. Next week's prize for sharing today's live are the Snowflake Sequins. And I thought these would go so well because we're using the Snowflake Wishes thing today. Stamp set. So these are Snowflake Sequins. I will give these away. I will draw a name out of those who share this video and then type shared in the comments. Um, typing shared in the comments allows me to see who shared because Facebook doesn't show me that. It just tells me the number of people that shared. So make sure to share this video to be entered to win the snowflake sequence. I'll draw that next Thursday. And Sharon, you won it from two weeks ago, the Dainty Diamonds Embossing Folder. So congratulations. All right, let's get stamping. All right, so the first card I have for you, and remember this is one of the bonus ideas from the Perfectly Plaid Creativity Kit, is this one right here. I like making A2 cards, okay? I'm a plain and simple vanilla girl when it comes to that. Yes, I show fun folds and stuff, but when it gets down to it, I do like just your standard card. So, and I'm gonna show you a paper saving trick too. Lots of texture on this card, lots of texture. All right, let me pull out my, my pieces here. So this designer series paper comes from the Tis the Season 6x6 six six inch pack. You're going to get a quarter pack in your Perfectly Plaid Creativity Kit. And what I'm, these are um, die cut from the Stitched So Sweetly um, set. And we've got a crumb cake card base. I'm having trouble thinking. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. This is a cherry cobbler piece, and this is Whisper White. I don't know if you can see this, but I embossed it with the Winter Snow embossing folder. And it's not a 3D embossing folder. It's just a standard one. All right, so let's get started putting this together. Let me get my liquid glue here. And we are going to be using Perfectly Plaid and the Pine Tree Punch. 
Okay, so I've got my liquid glue, I'm ready to go. Now, before we do anything, I'm gonna show you the little paper saving trick. So if you notice on this card, I've got three trees here from cherry that are punched from cherry cobbler cardstock, and I've got this cherry cobbler mat here. Well, rather than get a separate piece of cherry cobbler cardstock, I'm actually gonna stamp my trees right on this cherry cobbler piece right here, and we're gonna punch it from that because the punched out section is going to be hidden when we start layering everything. All right, so I'm going to use this tree right here. And we're gonna ink it up with Versamark. We're gonna stamp this tree three times. And don't stamp it right on the edge of the cardstock because you, I mean, we are, the, the edge of it's gonna show. So we need to make sure we stamp just slightly in. Okay, there's one tree. And let's do a second tree. And then I'm gonna flip this around to stamp the third tree right here. All right, and now we're going to sprinkle on white embossing powder to do some heat embossing, which is the technique that pulled me in to the magic of stamping. Now your stamping, um, our stamping up embossing powders come in jars. I pour my jars, I buy several jars at a time and then I pour them into um, a plastic container like you're seeing here and then just spoon it out because I think it's a lot easier. I don't have to worry about trying to get it back into the jar. Okay, now we'll set this aside. And we're going to heat emboss it. So I'm going to turn on the heat gun and I'm going to let it warm up for a few seconds because I want to get it nice and hot. Oh, I'm sorry, Sharon. I'm just now seeing your comment. Each kit is $35. I keep all the creativity kits at the same price of $35. Now, if you get both of them, you can take $5 off the total price of the two. And that includes shipping. The $35 includes shipping. Do you see that powder melting? It's getting so smooth and shiny. Okay. Sharon, I mailed out last month's kits. The, oh my goodness, why can't I even remember what it was anymore? Point set of petals. So you should have gotten that already probably about a week or two ago. And I also emailed the links to the videos and the written PDF. Now Steve, we're just gonna slip this punch in. Ooh, trees are flying. punch has some force to it. Okay. Okay. And now when we go to glue, so we have our three embossed trees. I love that combination of white embossing powder on the cherry cobbler. It's so classic. And now when we go to glue this on, this is going to cover what we just punched out. So we just saved ourselves some paper. Yay! All right, let's attach this to our crumb cake card base. I'm just gonna put a little bit of liquid glue on here if it comes out of the bottle. So I am actually home alone for the first time since mid-March. My husband went into the office today, but not for long, it's just to pack up his stuff <laughs> to come back home. They're not sending anybody back to the office until I think summertime, maybe, but it feels strange. All these years I've been a stay at home mom and my kids were in school and uh, I got used to being home alone during the day and then he's been here since March and now it feels really weird to, for it to be just me and Lily, my little dog. I'm actually not sure I like it. I miss his company. Although it does make it easier to do lives and film videos, I'll say that for sure. Okay, that's covering that. I love when I can find ways to save on my craft supplies. Okay, 
So now we've got the Stitch So Sweetly rectangle and we are gonna glue our designer series paper to this. So the way this is gonna get glued is that piece is going to go there and this one is going to go there just inside of the stitched lines. Now it's double-sided pattern so you could use the reverse side if you wanted to. It's up to you. This Tis the Season paper is really good because it's got 48 sheets in it that are six by six inches a piece. And I'm gonna glue this one first. So if you like to make multiples of Christmas cards, there's plenty of paper in there for you to do so. So, and again, you'll get a quarter pack of it in the Perfectly Plaid Creativity Kit. You also will get uh, the Wonder of the Season Ribbon Combo Pack, which has two spools of ribbon in it. And you'll see some of the gold cord here in a minute. And you'll get a package of wonderful gems. And we will use them on the projects in the kit. And then you get your class packets with your papers, you know, scored, embossed, whatever needs done. You will need the inks and adhesive and the stamp set and punch for the kit, but some of you already have them, so that's not a big deal. If you don't, you can add them on the catalog price. All right, the gold cord, because we're gonna tie it around this. This is the gold cord that's in the Wonder of the Season combo pack. Um, I like this because it holds its shape. We're gonna tie it around this seam right here. I always get so nervous tying bows when I'm live because I'm never sure if I'm gonna be successful on the first try. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit here. Yeah, so when you tie um, a bow with this gold cord, the bow will keep its shape. It's not going to flop around everywhere, which makes it easy. <laughs> it doesn't get out of control. Years and years ago, Stampin' Up! had gold cord and copper and silver, and I bought tons and tons of spools of it. And I used it all up, and I'm so happy to see that Stampin' Up! brought this back because I really did like using it. Okay, before we glue that on, let's stamp. Oh, look, my die cut didn't cut all the way. Ah! Well, Yours wouldn't be like that. I can assure you of that. We're gonna use North Pole Delivery. I love packaging up the kits and sorting and cutting and embossing. It's, it's, it's very satisfying to organize all of it like that. And we're gonna use Cherry Cobbler to stamp this. And I'm going to, because I need to, I need to hide that, so I'm going to stamp it this way. Now, can you see that this is actually embossed, too, with the winter snow embossing folder? And yes, I am going to stamp on it already embossed, because here's the thing. I ran it through my machine with the embossing folder, and then I went through again and die cut it. And when I die cut it, it flattened the embossing a little bit, so it's not so raised that I can't stamp on it. So that's why I'm going to stamp on it. Okay, so this is Cherry Cobbler ink. Let it, I like to press down for a few seconds just to give the ink time to absorb into the cardstock. Cherry Cobbler is such a pretty color for making vintage cards because it just has this deep, rich red to it that I love. All right, we're doing dimensionals on these pieces right here. Um, actually, I, wait, I, I need just to explain this about the adhesive on this one. But first I'll put the dimensionals on these trees here. Okay, so this is actually gonna get layered like this on the card. So part of this top half is going to be laying flush against this panel and the bottom part is going to be on this bottom pan layered on this bottom piece here so I'm actually going to put dimensionals on just the bottom portion of this stamp sentiment and then I'll use liquid glue for the top did that make sense if not leave a comment I'll explain it a little bit more okay and now I'll add the line of liquid glue except you know what I need to add this first too so and I'm just going to use liquid glue to attach this panel here 
and that's going to go right in the center of our card. And I'm going to hold this down for a few seconds just to make sure it sticks. My bow's coming loose. Tighten it. All right, now we can put this panel on here. All right, and now we will add our trees. Did you ever glue things upside down on your card? I almost did that the other day. Fortunately, I've learned over the years to check my card before I um, attach anything <laughs> to minimize that happening. Okay. All right, and now what we are going to do is add some wonderful gems. You'll get a full pack of this in your perfectly plaid creativity kit and we're going to use the gold sparkle ones so these are real red and gold and they have glitter inside of them so they sparkle and they're so pretty so let's add a few to our card I'm going to add one there and I want it to snow wonderful gems oh speaking of snow we had snow the other day and it made me so happy do you guys like snow my husband doesn't he groaned when he saw it and me I was cheering and ran to make a cup of hot chocolate and just loved it. Loved it, loved it. And now it's almost 70 degrees outside. Huge change, but it's Pennsylvania. What can you expect? Okay, so this is the first bonus idea in the Perfectly Plaid Card Kit. And if you order the kit, I um, and I will give you the code. That's right. Order the kit and use this code right here when you email me. And I will send you an extra class packet with your Perfectly Plaid kit to make this particular bonus project. So if you're interested in it, just write that code down. Plaid Snow. I'll leave that up there while I get the components for my next project. And I have a huge stash of crumb cake envelopes, so I've been including those in the kit too. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell the crumb cake ones anymore. Sadly, I really, really like them. But, um... I bought more than enough so when they did have them all right the next one we're going to use is from the snowflake wishes stamp set okay this is the bonus um, one of the bonus ideas for the snowflake splendor creativity kit and we're going to do some embossing this is vellum and it is a gorgeous gorgeous stunning effect because where you emboss it whitens, deepens the white of the vellum cardstock, so it really makes it pop and just so elegant, so very elegant. Let me get my pieces and my supplies. So in the Snowflake Splendor kit, you're gonna get a full spool of the shimmer ribbon. You'll get a quarter pack of the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. You will get a full package of these blue adhesive backed gems and you'll get the class packets and you know the video links and the tutorials and all that and a little thank you surprise in there so this is the die set and this is the stamp set let me pull out my kit pieces here and we're actually going to do the embossing and cutting and all that for this so i'll be pulling out my big shot not my big shot the stamp and cut and emboss the big shot that we used to have okay First, we are going to stamp, and we're using Highland Heather for this, a really, really pretty purple. I want to pull out my Balmy Blue ink pad, and the stamp I'm going to use is, you get lots and lots of different snowflakes in here, but I'm going to use this one right here. These images on the front are not to size. You can see this is actually bigger than that, but that's what the image looks like. And let me get a block. We're gonna stamp it in balmy blue on this whisper white cardstock. So pretty. This is such a pretty blue. And I'm gonna keep this close by because you know what? While we're at it, let's stamp our sentiment. 
This label, believe it or not, came from the Halloween Magic die set. It's the smaller label. And the sentiment I'm going to use is May Your Season Sparkle. Okay. And we're going to stamp this in balmy blue. Now I'm going to stamp it more towards the left, or excuse me, more towards the right, because I'm going to be putting some snowflakes on the other side, and I don't want to cover up my sentiment. I gotta wipe off the ink on my block here. Okay, so I'm stamping more towards the right. And we're done with our ink pad, so we can put that away. And set that aside. And now I'm going to bring in my um, Stampin' Cut in a bus. Uh oh, I must have had cherry cobbler on my fingers. I got it on there. That's okay. We're going to go with it anyways. These are all the pieces I'm going to need. I'm going to die cut this. I'm going to emboss this. I'm embossing this piece of Highland Heather cardstock, and I'm also going to be die cutting some snowflakes from it. And then I've just got a scrap of balmy blue glimmer paper. That's the other thing you're going to get in the kit, a quarter pack of the, um, or a half pack of the balmy blue glimmer paper. <laughs> There's a die here in this set, this one right here. This is why I saved the smallest scraps of my glimmer paper because I can put that on there. <laughs> so I don't throw any of those pieces out. That glimmer paper is valuable stuff. So bring my machine in. Oh, I need to plug in my phone here. Hold on a second. Sorry about that. It was about to die on me. All right, we'll do the embossing first. So I'm gonna emboss this piece of Highland Heather. Because this is a regular embossing folder, it's a standard one, not a 3D one, I just need plate number one and then both plates number three. It's not as thick as the 3D ones. Okay, and then I'm going to emboss this piece of vellum, and you'll see the really pretty raised white that the uh, the effect of that. Isn't that pretty? Can you see that? bring my light over a little bit more. It's so pretty. I love it. So we don't need that embossing folder. We can set that aside now and we are going to do some die cutting. So when I die cut, I need to add the plate number two. So one, two, three, and now I'll need my paper with the dies. Okay. So I've got that piece of glimmer paper there. And I'm gonna put that one in. I'm trying to find where my snowflake went that I stamped. I wonder if it's underneath my machine. Let me take a peek. Sometimes it'll stick to the bottom of stuff. No? Hmm. All right, give me a second here to look. I might have to stamp that again. Just because, oh, it fell on the floor. Okay, we're back in business. Let's die cut this one out now. And I'm going to use that large die. If you haven't heard Stampin' Up, um, we did have a magnetic cutting plate but there have been some issues with it apparently so it have become, has become unorderable if you have already bought the magnetic cutting plate stampin up is actually going to be emailing coupon codes to everybody that bought one and um when they come back out with it again well you can use the coupon code for anything you want but and you don't have to mail the magnetic cutting plate back it is yours to keep okay 
Now, we're going to use these two dies to die cut this embossed piece of Highland Heather cardstock. It's a small detail, but it really looks quite special on the card. All right, we got it all. We're ready to assemble. Okay, my machine moved everything around. Okay, so um, gluing vellum can be kind of tricky. There are special vellum adhesive, adhesives out there that you can buy. Um, I don't have them. So, so what I do do is when I am gluing vellum to another piece of paper, I glue all the other things on top of it first. That way I can flip it over and I can see where the adhesive would actually get hidden and then I apply it there. So I'm going to do just that in this case here. So this is a piece of Snowflake Splendor designer series paper and I'm going to attach it to this piece of vellum here. Um, about three quarters of the way down. Okay, now I'm going to add my sentiment label and I'm just going to put that right there with liquid glue. I'm not going to use any dimensionals for this because that my snowflakes are going to be layered. And I'll put it down there. They're going to be layered and I think that's going to add more than enough dimension to this card that I I don't want to I don't want to make it impossible to mail it, you know, cuz sometimes you have to pay extra postage if it gets, you know, the post office gets a little cranky about stuff sometimes. I have three post offices in my area and I know which ones um are a little more lenient about stuff, so I go to them. You think it would all be standardized, but it's not. So now we're gonna layer our snowflakes. This is what I find, find so fun about this stamp set and these dies, is stamping all these snowflakes and cutting them out and then creating layers of them. You know, I'm wondering what people do for fun besides stamp. No, actually, I do know, because there's a lot of other things I like. I like to read, I like to build puzzles, um, I like going to my YMCA, I like volunteering, but stamping's definitely high on the list. So this is a four layer deep snowflake. And of course, you don't have to die cut, you don't need a die cutting machine if you don't want to. If you really wanted to, you could, you know, stamp and create a collage, you could hand cut them if you wanted to, it's totally up to you. And now we're going to glue our snowflake right there. Okay, so now I have this panel done and now I know where to apply all the adhesive and where it's going to be hidden. So I'm going to get some glue dots. And what I discovered too is if you put the glue dots in the center of these embossed snowflakes, they don't show through. So I'm going to apply liquid adhesive here where all those pieces are going to cover it. And then what I'm going to go back and do is add glue dots underneath those snowflakes. Okay, and I'm going to use my, I find the piercer to be really easy to do this with. Um, Stampin' Up! no longer carries this particular piercer. They have what's called a take your pick tool, which actually has a piercer and I think like three other tool attachments to it. And I just, I like the control that it gives me. And they don't stick to my fingers. Okay, and I'll put one on the back of that snowflake. And there, all your adhesive is hidden. And now we are going to add some blue gems and we're going to add some of the Snowflake Splendor ribbon. So let's add a couple gems here and I'll put another one there. 
and now let's tie a bow. Now I found this snowflake splendor ribbon is a little bit, um, it's not as pliable as the other ribbons. And I'm thinking it's because of the amount of sparkle that's in it. But it's okay, you can still tie it in a bow. And it sure does look good. And I'm going to attach that with a mini glue dot. And then I'll trim it. I like to leave my ribbon on the spool while I'm tying it just again to save on ribbon so I don't cut off more than I need. Okay, so that is the second. Oh, you know what? I forgot a little gem in the middle of that snowflake. I'm going to take one of the bigger ones and I'll put it right in the middle. There we go. So that's one of the bonus ideas from the Snowflake Splendor Creativity Kit. And I'll pull in the other ones. These, This was one of the bonus ideas from the Perfectly Plaid Creativity Kit. So both of them are available this month. And if you use this code plaid snow when you email me your registration for either or both of these kits i will include the um the class packet for the bonus project so if you order snowflake splendor you'll get the packet for this bonus idea perfectly plaid you'll get the class packet for this one order both you'll get both the packets and you will save five dollars so november 10th is the deadline to register so i can get everything out to you in plenty of time for Christmas, but I hope you guys liked those projects today. I can't wait to create some more with these. <laughs> I'm not done with them yet. <laughs> so I am so thank you, Sharon. Um, so yeah, I'll be back here next Thursday. Don't forget to share this video to be entered in the drawing to win those snowflake sequins. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate you guys watching and commenting, and I'm just so thankful to be able to to share stamping with you and to do this together so I will see you guys next Thursday and always always feel free to reach out to me I'm always available all right guys have a wonderful week bye